Hi Aquarius, welcome to your Week Ahead Taroscope with me, Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. Quick note, my readings, <coughs> excuse me, are for your sun, moon and ascendant signs. So whether you're a sun, moon or rising sign Aquarius, this is for you. And I always advise that you watch all three to get a clearer, more complete picture of how they speak to you. With that said, if you are a continued subby, you know I love you for it. And if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to like, share, and if you should so choose and this resonates, hit that subscribe button before we start. As always, I would like to bless my deck of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity, and abundance. And I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise and help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. So for your key to the week, <clears throat> this week you have the full card. This is a full, the full card is a, a, an energy that Aquarius is very well acquainted with. It has a very Aquarian element to it because it is all things and no things. It's uh, separate from the, the, the collective, but part of the collective all at the same time. <coughs> Excuse me. And in a lot of ways, this is like a reset button. It's where you get a fresh slate, a fresh start. I often say with this card, it's new things, places, people, and energies coming in. In a lot of ways, Aquarius, something this week that you've wanted to initiate for some time now has all of the chances to become real, now has all of the promise that it could possibly hold. So this is a week for you to really think about what it is that you want and then to hurl that wish out there into the universe as hard as possible. So you're your foundation card is the strength card, right? Coupled with the full card, this is a new endeavor that your heart has really wanted to move on for quite some time. In a lot of ways, it's asking you to find your courage to move in a new direction and to stick with the path that you've laid out for yourself. For your actions and options this week, you have the five of wands. Coupled with the, the full card, this could be a lot of fun. Um, this could be a week where you're wanting to be more social, where you're feeling a bit more sociable, where you're wanting to connect with people. Could get quite loud. I mean, if you're anything like me, you're naturally very loud anyway. Um, one of the things that comes up this week, though, is you're finding time to spend, or it's almost like you're finding time to spend time with your people. Uh, and if you can't do that sort of in person, because of the way that the world is at this moment in time, you will certainly be actively finding ways to connect with people of like mind. It does suggest that you could be connecting to a new group this week, maybe one that comes up spontaneously, maybe for some of you as well, you could be joining a challenge of some sort, you know, like these online challenges that you have for your business or for health or for, you know, I don't know, like whatever. <clears throat> like this week you could be seeking something out, but it's about connecting to people. I actually feel like this is going to be an interesting week because Aquarius has gone through this process over the last three months of being a bit more like hermit. That's coming to an end now, which is great. For your communications and conversations, you have the star card, right? So that is, this is a double hit. Like, I think this is probably one of the weeks, Aquarius, where you are feeling more like yourself than you have in a long time. I love this, right? This is where things really start to lighten up. They really start to ease up. And I think this is the start of a much more sociable period. It's the start of a lot more fun, a lot more enjoyment, and a lot more connection. Now, this, uh, the star card, remember, it's always a glimpse into the future. You could be getting a big glimpse or a big opportunity this week that has all of the potential to fulfill some of the goals that you've set forward for yourself recently. So whatever it is that you, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> Whatever it is that you've said to yourself recently, I want to manifest this. This week you could find that the opportunities or the the things that are going to facilitate that happening are starting to show up. You've got to pay attention to the signs, the synchronicities, and also, <coughs> excuse me, to the repeating of words or phrases or the repeating of things that you haven't told anyone. That is going to be one of your cues this week. So if you've written something down and you haven't spoken to anybody about it and you said, right, this is the thing that I want to work on 
and then boom this week like it starts to show up or people start talking about it that's your cue from the universe to say this is happening you're on the right path you're on the right track so for those of you that work for somebody else this looks really good I think you could be having a conversation with your boss this week about where you're going from here about what is possible about what you really are interested in creating for your own future and it looks like you get to be a part of that or certainly you get to be the sculptor which is really really exciting now the other way that this shows up for you um for uh, sorry for those of you that are business owners entrepreneurs solopreneurs people that work for themselves this could be you finding the right people this could be you making connections uh, remember the star card is anything on and with the internet or the digital sphere or technological for that matter with the full card here as well this could be some new uh, alliance that's coming in so maybe you're aligning with a, a big sort of institution or a body of some sort maybe you're joining a group or a forum in some way shape or form that could really help you get ahead it looks like there's going to be some amazing connections forged this week they are literally sort of like just the the preliminary steps just the introductions this week so don't get into your mind about you know what it has to look like or has to be all right and then for your um, for those of you that are retired or no longer working this is quite frankly you being there for your family and I think in a lot of ways you're going to be called upon this week and it might be spontaneous you might be really surprised at what you're asked to do or what you're asked to assist with um, you know Aquarian people can be quite opinionated we can I'm just going to be honest um, and we can also come across as a bit sort of stuck in our ways um, so I think, you know, for those of you that are older or maybe are, un, you know, um, not unemployed, but, you know, for those of you that are retired, you might think, you know, people don't ask me for my opinion because they know that I'm going to tell them the truth. Well, maybe this week that particular brand of Aquarianism is what's required. And I think that might be, you know, might be requested of you. But there's some really good opportunities in this week for sure. For the money and materials, we've got the lover's card. So lots of good decisions there are choices about the money the finances and the resources possibly sharing the burden with somebody this comes up with the five of wands so i will say that this is definitely going to be a social week could be having a lot of fun a lot of laughter you might bump into somebody this is a good week like even if your country is relatively locked down this would be a really good week for you to um to get out and about as much as you can especially if you're interested in meeting someone because it's going to be out and about situations that introduce you to someone for some of you it could be online dating you know don't rule it out but it does look like this could be a week or certainly from here on in where you start to to be open to those possibilities now when it comes to the money the finances and the resources a decision that you make this week is going to have far-reaching financial ripples and ones that could truly be great for you. I actually really like this. I think it's lovely. When it comes to your physical health and vitality, your hands, fingers, arms, and this sort of general area, and even your lungs this week, you want to look after. If you can go dancing or, you know, jogging or anything that's going to get your heart rate up, I think you'd really get a lot out of it. And then when it comes to your home, it looks like you're making a final decision this week on something. Like there's a final choice or a final thing. Maybe you're signing on the, on the dotted line for something as well when it comes to the home or a new idea uh, of some kind. And then when it comes to your love and relations, you've got the six of wands. So we've got two sixes here. Two sixes represents irritability or balance. And because you've got these two sixes here, I think it's balance. I think this week, if you've been thinking to yourself, you know what, maybe I'm always going to be single or maybe there isn't anybody for me or, you know, maybe like this week, it does look like there is connection. It does look like you are meeting someone, connecting with someone, aligning with someone and having a lot of fun doing it. And it kind of feels like that's how it starts out. It's just fun. It's just enjoyment. And you might then see that that develops into something else. But for now, just enjoy that sort of presence in your life or this new presence that makes itself known in your life, whoever they might be. 
Uh, and then for those of you that are married, partnered, or in relationships, this is beautiful. Um, the first thing that I wanna say is it does look like some of you are planning a trip or a journey, uh, some sort of travel. It does look like it's something to do with leisure. Uh, you know, so this is gonna be like vacation stuff, but it's just the planning of a holiday. I don't necessarily see you on, you know, on your travels as yet. Um, for some of you, this is a trip to the States. If you already live in the States, then this will be cross country or possibly abroad. Uh, so very nice. All in all, I think this is probably one of the lighter weeks that Aquarius has had all year. Um, so I will take this all day long, but there are definitely new connections coming in, definitely new social connections coming in, and definitely new opportunities to get ahead when it comes to work, when it comes to business, and also being seen for the hard work and effort that you've already put out into the world. All in all, I think it'll be great. With that said, let me know in the comments how it shapes up. I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff. Take care, and I'll speak to you soon.